Hello there, this is Ron. This is the second video uh, for the foundational exam. In each one of my foundational exams and all of my competencies, there will be a set of knowledge that's necessary, <clears throat> like pressure, temperature, etc. But then there's also going to be some new component in learning about learning. It's one of our outcomes here at Iron Range Engineering, and I'm going to continue to help you build on that outcome. Today's Learning About Learning video is on something called Bloom's Taxonomy. And Bloom's Taxonomy is a way to classify learning. And in Bloom's Taxonomy, we're going to look to class... That's what a taxonomy is, by the way. It's a classification system. You know, there's a taxonomy for plants and animals. If you ever took biology, you learned how to classify different plants. You learned how to classify different animals, homo sapiens, etc. Um, but Bloom's taxonomy is classifications of learning. So there are two domains here. Um, this one up top is called the, the cognitive domain. And what it looks at is the different kinds of things a person should be able to do with new knowledge once they've learned it. And one of the most important things is that we need to remember the things we've learned. Um, can, the, can the learner recall the information? Can the learner... And so the next is understanding. Can the learner explain the ideas or concepts? And the next is applying. Can the learner use the information in a new way? And after that is analyzing. Can the learner distinguish between different parts? And the next is creating. Can the learner create a new product or a new point of view. And finally, can the learner evaluate? Can the learner justify a new stand or position? Over on this side, what we've got are the different verbs for things that a person would do in remembering or understanding, applying, analyzing, um, creating, evaluating. And what the whole point is with Bloom's Taxonomy is that for learning to be valuable, we need to be able to do all of these things. And too many of the exams that are given in college stop right here in understanding and remembering. These are often referred to as lower level on Bloom's Taxonomy. It's when you get out to the higher level that, that uh, less practice is put, but it's also where we spend most of our time as practicing engineers. So if you look at um, the different things that I'll have you do this semester, in the, this block in the course, I will, I will have you practicing your remembering and your understanding, but I'll ask you how you might apply it to the world around you. And I will have you uh, create some deep learning activity and evaluate that deep learning activity in your report and analyze the results in that deep learning activity. So this right here is why a DLA is so important. Applying, this would be like the problems you'll do in your homework. So that's one view. The next domain of Bloom's Taxonomy is called the Knowledge Domain. And what happens here is we look at knowledge as having uh, different classifications. Some knowledge is factual. One foot is 12 inches long. Some knowledge is conceptual. Um, if you drop a ball, its potential energy will go down and its kinetic energy will go up. So factual is terminology, it's details and elements. 
Conceptual is knowledge of principles, knowledge of theories and models. The next kind of knowledge is procedural. Here, this is knowing, in a way, this is doing. It's how, uh, how do you do something? How do you carry out a procedure? How do you do a process? How do you follow a method or a technique? The IMRD method that we use for designing an experiment and writing a report, that would be an example of procedural knowledge. And then the, the highest level of knowledge is metacognitive. And this is self-knowledge. This is the ability to look at oneself and describe how I learn and apply facts, how I learn and apply concepts, how I learn and apply procedures. It's knowledge about the cognitive tasks, and it's very strategic. So... There we have Bloom's Taxonomy. I will ask you a few questions on your foundational exam about Bloom's Taxonomy. Uh, questions I might ask would include, what's the difference between the cognitive domain and the knowledge domain? Or list the different aspects of the knowledge domain. Or what's the difference between um, remembering and understanding.